everyone. In this video, I'm going to do an application for knee stability. So looking at whether we've had some sort of ligamentous injury or soft tissue injury around that knee that has either left it less stable or giving you a feeling of instability. So we can use this application to provide that sensation of support um, and stabilize that knee. Now, obviously, it's not going to be as St uh, stabilizing as rigid sports tape or your traditional sports tape. If you don't have traditional sports tape available, then we can use something like K-tape to give some level of stability and that sensation through the tissues uh, to give you that sense of awareness and either help reduce unwanted movements or even just give that sensation of support. So um, the colors don't mean anything. I'm just gonna use two different colors here today. To, so you can visually see where I'm putting the tape and just to give a bit more of a visual to applying that tape. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this blue strip to start with. Uh, on the back here, you can see I've got one centimeter increments. The darker lines or the thicker lines are your five centimeter increments across the back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut 20 centimeters off that strip there. So we're gonna cut an eye strip or a straight strip at 20 centimeters. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and cut another 20 centimeter strip. So we're gonna take two 20 centimeter strips from this one. And we're gonna start with those in a second. And then whether you use the same color or not, I'm actually gonna use another um, 20 centimeter strip for the third application that we'll perform. Now this will all depend on the size of your thigh or knee. So if you're a smaller frame person, you might not need 20 centimeters in those strips. If you're larger or you're a big rugby player, you've got a bigger thigh, um, then you might need a larger strip and say maybe even 25 centimeters. So I'm gonna round the corners of all of those strips. Now to do that, all I'm gonna do is fold those ends together. So we've got end to end, and then I'm going to cut the corner off that tape. So if I was to nip the little end off, you can see that just rounds that corner and that means it's not gonna catch as easily on clothing. So I'm gonna do the same thing to those other two strips before we get started. So rounding those corners, nice and simple. Last one, cut that one and cut that one. So we should now have three eye strips, 20 centimeters each. Um, I've cut two blue ones and a black one. So I'm gonna start with one of these blue ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear that paper backing five centimeters or one to two inches from one end. And I'm gonna remove that paper backing to expose that adhesive surface. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna place that knee up on a stable surface here. So I'm just gonna use a chair. I've got about 30, 20 to 30 degrees of flexion through that knee. So it's not too important if you've got that out of that 30 degrees. Um, it's just a rough estimate. We want a slight bend in that knee. And we're gonna take that adhesive surface. I'm just gonna use my finger to hold that as much as you can. Try not to touch the adhesive too much because it does affect the ability for that to stick well to the skin. Now you'll notice this bony prominence right below the knee, the tibial tuberosity. That's gonna be one of our landmarks that we're gonna to use to go from. So I'm gonna take that landmark, that tibial tuberosity, and I'm gonna apply the tape just over the other side of it. And that tapes on about a 45 degree or an oblique diagonal angle across the inside of my knee here. So I can rub that tape to get some friction and some warmth through there, just to get that adhesive to stick a little bit better. Now I'm gonna peel that back a little bit. I'm gonna take that paper backing and I'm going to expose the rest of that adhesive surface, which is just gonna give me a little bit to hold on to at the end. So from there, I'm going to take that end, I'm gonna hold the anchor here because I don't want that to pull off the skin or pull the skin. So I'm gonna hold the anchor and while I hold that, I'm gonna apply tension to this strip. So you can see here I can go 100% tension or I can back off slightly. With my knee in this position, I'm gonna apply almost full tension across the inside of the knee. Now you can see here, 
that's the joint line of my knee, I'm about midline. So I'm not too far to the back, I'm not going over the hamstrings, and I'm not over the thigh uh, at the front here, the quadriceps. I'm fairly well straight up the center of that thigh. Now I've just then removed that end of the paper backing and applied that little end with no tension. So just to recap, we started with no tension with our anchor there over that bony landmark, directed inside the knee. I've then applied tension through the center of that strip, nearly full available tension, and then the last little bit with no stretch. So I should be able to take that knee through its range of motion without that tape peeling off. Now ideally, I would have trimmed some of the hair on my leg here, or my lower limb, um, to make it a bit more stubbly, which it can grip to, or that tape can grip to a little bit better. But even with this hair, that tape has still stuck. So that's our first strip. We're gonna take our second one, and we're gonna do the same thing, but on the outside of the knee. So spinning around here, now I'm just gonna pop my foot up on the table. Once again, I'm gonna take that strip, five centimeters from one end, I'm gonna tear that paper backing, and I'm gonna remove that paper backing to expose that adhesive surface. This time, I'm gonna start from the inside of that tibial tuberosity. So I'm gonna cross it over, and I'm gonna try and start on skin. So you can see here, got a little bit of skin just inside the other one, and I'm going to start on that point with the tape directed around the outside of the knee this time. So that end is stuck on. I'm gonna remove that paper backing and just give myself a little bit to hold on to. So I've got an end here left intact. I'm gonna hold that anchor like we did the first time. I'm gonna apply almost full tension to that tape and I'm gonna run it along the outside of the knee. So running that up through the mid line. So once again, I'm not directed too much towards the hamstrings and I'm not directed too much towards the front of the thigh over those quadriceps, but roughly through the mid line. And then I can rub that tape to get some heat into that adhesive so it sticks a little bit better. So now I should have two strips. So we have one through the inside, one along the outside. So if I was to bring that back here, you should be able to see they cross over and they go up the inside and outside of the knee. Now for extra stability, I could go ahead and double those up. So if I wanted to double them up, I would start, say, a little bit lower on the outside and come up close to that one, but overlapping onto skin a little bit. It sticks better to skin than it does to itself. So if you're going to double up, try and get more skin contact than tape, but you're not gonna be able to avoid tape contact altogether. So that's what I'm gonna start with, one either side. After this, I'll show you how you can double it up. But for the sake of just doing two, we're gonna take our third strip now. This time, instead of tearing at one of those five centimeter marks from the end, I'm gonna tear it straight through the center. So we're gonna tear that paper backing right through the middle. I'm going to expose that adhesive surface in the middle. And then still with my knee bent to about 30 degrees, so similar bend, not too much of a bend through there, I'm gonna pinch that tape between index and middle fingers. So I'm still on the paper backing, but I've got index and middle fingers pinching that tape so I can apply even tension to that. So we're gonna have the adhesive surface down facing my leg. I'm gonna apply that adhesive surface just below my kneecap. So we've got that bony landmark we crossed over before, the tibial tuberosity, and then you'll notice your kneecap or patella. We're gonna start just below that kneecap, so I don't wanna be running over it. So starting below with that tension, and I'm gonna angle that tape around to the inside and outside of the knee directed towards those hamstrings. So once I get some of that tape down, I'm gonna run that strip around towards the back of the leg there. And I'll do the same on the inside. So I'm gonna take that strip, 
remove that paper backing and applying that down along the inside. Now ideally, as I said before, we'll want to end the tape on skin if possible. So I could probably go a little bit longer in this strip, maybe a 25 centimeter strip for the black one. And that way I'd be great, um, coming around here onto skin. So it would end on skin and would just give me better contact with that tape. So we can give that a good rub. And once we've given that a good rub, that's our application for a basic knee stability um, approach to K-taping. As I said before, if we wanted to double up and apply some more strips, I would simply cut two more of those 20 centimeter strips like we did with the blue. I would start a little bit lower and I would come around overlapping slightly, either above or below. And I would do the same on the other side. So that way we would have two strips running up the inside, two strips running up the outside and our center strip. But I'll show you now what our end application should look like. We've got blue strip, up each side, a black strip through the middle, and that should just help not reduce the amount of motion necessarily, but provide some stability around that knee that you will be aware of, and ideally is going to help you reduce too much unwanted movement through that knee. So it's there for awareness, proprioception, so as you're running around, whether you're going for a jog, playing that game of footy, or kicking a ball, you'll be aware of the tension through the tape, and ideally it's gonna help you limit those unwanted movements. If you need stability through the knee, use a rigid tape instead. But that's an example of a knee stability application using K-Tape. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, click uh, onto any of the other videos if you wanna check out some of these. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.